Oh, man, this is going to be fun stuff here. You guys have probably heard the round, you know, this story making the rounds this week. Doesn't make it any less funny. Our family was not able to survive on two teacher incomes, we. Teacher defends the Lonely Fans account that she set up with her husband after she was forced to quit teaching when the students found her explicit content. All now, right, hang on, hang on. Mm. There's got to be some more to the story. Well, as it would happen, uh, one of our fans of the show is, I might as well just you know make this person a private detective because when they send us sources, they send us receipts with the sources. Wendy, you're awesome. Nice. Uh, turns out this person's name is Samantha Peer, which, you know, I'm not telling any tales out of school here, known by her alias, Chloe Carter, K-H-L-O-E, uh, filmed the inappropriate content with her husband, Dillian Peer. Um, just so everybody is clear, they were filming this content in the school. Some of it. Some of it in the school during off hours. Now, hang on. All right. What chapter of the idiot book was this woman reading <laughs> to come up with a good idea like, hey, let's go to my place of employment and I'll swallow some throat yogurt on camera. Get the fuck out of here. I, I, I am not shocked. <laughs> Only fans for dummies, second edition. How did she get caught? Well, uh, her students found her, and it turns out this is not difficult. Now, you might think, well, nobody who teaches children is going to be stupid enough to advertise the fact that they do this publicly. Well, here you go. Here's her personal Facebook page. This is all public, okay? Now, so no one can accuse us of doxing or harassment. And, and this woman is homely. Yes, she is quite homely. There's her face. Why anybody? I would pay her to put a bag over it, to be honest with you. But the intro, we all know what you're looking for with smiley emojis. You click on the link tree, and this is what comes up. Links to her fansly, many vids, her Reddit. Uh, we can't show you any of this stuff because it's... Because uh, there's dials and pegs. Uh, oh, God. There's canoe slime. I mean, a uh, pile. On her Reddit, she actually <laughs> offers to sell. What did the post say? I, I, I can read it, but I can't show it to you. Pop and Jeff can see it, though. <laughs> canoe slime? What? You ever heard of the canoe slime? <laughs> no. She sells her panties that have been worn to people. $30 for a 24-hour rare ad one available. Now, her, uh, her fourth point of contact is visible behind the threads, and it looks like somebody took a roast beef pickle wrap and decided to wrap it around a cherry bomb and then set it off inside of a truck stop bathroom. Hey, look. It's that bad. Yeah. <laughs> you want to invert your, uh, your, your breeding sack, go ahead. <laughs> If it looks like, you know, if it looks like a miniaturized baboon ass hanging out back there, I mean, you're probably spending a little too much time using that against its design specifications. Yeah, and listen, there's dividends. To, there's a tax and dividends that need to be paid if you uh, yeah. abuse your shit. Yeah. She uh, she thinks she's pro, but I say she's <clears throat> pro lapse because that's uh, well. I mean, down the listen, what she's doing and her husband's doing is technically. Not illegal. Now, um, filming it, sex acts in a public place, even if it is after hours, is still technically considered. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I consider that surfing the rules. <laughs> okay, she surfed the rules. She made it to the beach, but she got docked a point from the judge, and that was it. Yep. Oh my gosh! I didn't even see this. I must have missed this earlier when I was looking at it. The pair actually shared links to accounts followed by her eighth grade students. The page features explicit content depicting acts reportedly in the classroom, with one post reportedly showing the instructors spread on their desk. Mm. In a video statement posted to YouTube Friday, Peer, a mother of two young boys, oh, stunning and brave, asserted the pair had been forced to resign. The clip saw the science instructors shamelessly defend their behavior, blaming it on poor pay. See, when, when women get caught being degenerate, there's always a reason, and well, you have yeah. to feel sorry for them. That, well, that's Listen, that's like well, female nature one-on-one. -on -one. Yep. Admit nothing, deny everything, and make counter-accusations. That's a military 101 as well. Yes, it is. So, oh, <laughs> so how did they get caught? That's the thing. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you right now. She ran her mouth. Yep. Mm -hmm. Her kids were, what, eighth grade? Uh, when so no, her students were in eighth grade. Yeah, the, listen. When I was in eighth grade, I was far from an idiot. Yeah, 
And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I get to see my teacher sucking dick? I'm going to make that happen. It, it, I mean, th- this woman is nothing to well, write home about. That means they had to no. walk in on him or something. Did, did they? I mean, she's got I, like a six head. And then yeah, she does have a six head. head that's giving head with a septum piercing. And then the side one on top of it. It's just, wow. So I would pay her to put the bag over her head as opposed to I mean, you know, she's, diddling the ball she's bag. She's probably like almost 30. She's sporting a five and a half out of ten. If that. She's not going to have a, a, a pleasant experience yeah. in the next seven to tw- ten years. Yeah, so her husband's 28. Uh-huh. Um, it doesn't specifically state her age, so she's, I'm guessing maybe she's 28 as well. Okay. Well, I'm, then, you know, ten years from now when she's 38. And the internet but. never uh, forgets, and now she's a sport and a four. <laughs> you give her a five? A five and a half out of ten. Uh, no. 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 Uh, no. She's saying. a four. She's, okay. I'd <laughs> give her a four. I'd give her a four. Well, I mean, she's 28, and she looks that beat. I'm telling you. I know. And, uh, and that's it, You lose one look point mm. every seven years after the age of 25. And this is her done up to give a public statement. I, I know. So... Yeah. Ugh. All right. No, I mean, and, and they were dumb enough to, to share, li- you know, accounts with their students that had links to this stuff. And, and I mean, we uh, saw the proof. Well, with our I'm, own listen, it's it right coming all shapes and sizes. Yeah. And it's and listen, it's her own fault for uh, you know including or sharing the information about her uh, scratch and sniff twat <laughs> on the internet, <laughs> and they all get fucking what? I'm being totally <laughs> serious here. I know you're being serious. <laughs> <laughs> It's she, funny though. I mean, you've, that's what we're here for. I mean, <laughs> this is comedy, man. I've been doing this for a long. I mean, I, listen, I, I I conduct myself on this show exactly how I used to conduct myself when I was in the NCO in the army. There you go. And I would this, uh, and I just say what I say. People <laughs> laugh. And I'm like, it's not funny. I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> but, and that they laugh even harder. So is it like the fact that I'm trying to be serious make it even funnier? I, I don't get it. Uh, yes, maybe. that is the answer. It is. Yes. Right. Uh oh. Are you showing that? Well, no, no, I'm not showing that. Because she's got the Princess Leah. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't want to know. Man. She does not look happy. Dude, that is not a five. I mean, there's, no. No. Well, she no. just looked. Uh, listen, I mean, that she, face looks like uh, she suffered an anal slip. I, mean, I could show the, <laughs> the top part of it. There was a little uh, tearing. Yep. And uh, she's not happy. Yeah, she's got uh, two crotch crickets, and uh, apparently one night of the year they become crotch goblins because <laughs> she's the goblin queen in that particular. She's probably got some serious beat up bubble gum. Oh, she. I mean, you can see the the belly there has a little bit of a problem, and then there. She's got two kids. Uh, yeah, and those kids are gonna grow up knowing that their mama and daddy lost their jobs. Uh. And, yeah. and, you know, that, like, that, that apparently paid them so poorly. I'm sorry. If, if you have they two in? teacher incomes with two full-time teacher benefits, you're doing better than most people. Yes, you are. I so mean, for them state to complain. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. What state are they what in? What state is this? Uh, I'm going to double check. I want to say it was Arizona. I could be incorrect. I'm going to double check. Is it here. Arizona? Yeah, okay. it was well, Arizona. So you there. figure both of them, uh, medium income for a teacher, has been on the job about five years, 70 grand. Yes, so maybe both 50 of them, to 60 at least. Uh, both of them together, uh, 70 grand. Yeah. It's uh, $140,000 a year to live on. And they get all their summers off to play uh, hide the baloney and film it and make money on the side. Yeah. Well, if they said they weren't making enough money, you know, they could be just in debt up over their ass. It's, you know, they buy well, the big house, the fancy cars. Yeah. Well, they get it's called house poor and yeah. school poor yeah. nowadays. Or you literally get out of college with this mountain of debt, then you buy a house, and all you're doing is paying the mortgage, paying the interest yeah. on your student loans, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, you're you're swallowing throat yogurt on the side <laughs> to make the to pay the bills. <laughs> Well, and think about this too. I mean, we we study female nature on this show. Yeah, and we're gonna, that's going to be the basic theme of the night. So when you see a woman who's you know who's married with children, and their first thought, their first thought on this thought Thursday is to do this instead of I don't know, crochet shit and sell it on Etsy. Maybe you know, <laughs> maybe Listen. dumpster dive for old action figures and sell those on eBay. Have you nailed? Th- George Carlin said this. If you nail together two things that have never been nailed together before, some schmuck will buy it from you. Yeah, that's pretty much. This right. was her first thought, a- and we know from experience, well, women like that. If this is their first thought for getting extra money, that to them 
they just think money grows on trees. They spend it. They use debt to make it look like they have money. Yep. And then when it all comes crashing down on them, <laughs> life is so tough. The and government everyone needs else to is forgive my debt. <laughs> yeah. um, and my thought is, how do you talk your husband into doing this? Well, no. uh, I, I think it would have been easier to talk him into it before she looks the way she does now. Well, but listen. Most husbands are like, you know, honey, want to make a sex tape? No. No, that's 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 gross. That's demeaning. Well, evidently she's got uh, she's got some tiger stripes and bear claw tack scars on her belly. And people will pay thirty bucks yeah. for a pair of her pre worn panties that smell like fish. And, and bad she's decisions. got a you know she's probably got a tore up set of uh, chewed up bubble gum down there. Yeah. It's not going to be well. Yeah. And people, ah, yeah. I mean, I, I could show you, but we can't show it to the chat. No. <laughs> Don't show it to the chat. No, I can't show it to the chat, but I can show you. In trouble. It's, it's, it's quite horrendous, actually. Oh, but, uh, you know, it's always good for a good pop reaction. So You're tempting gonna, me to look. I'm just going to put his face up on the screen here because uh, Wendy was nice enough to show, to, to send us over some stuff here. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I can't see and that. And then one. we see the. Oh! Yeah, no, no. And then the no. No, we can't show that one. We can't show, you could show that one, maybe. Like, definitely can't show that yeah, one. Can't show that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> and there's the throat yogurt, like I said. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> why? Just why? Uh, all so of a sudden, people this are became radio stupid. and television. People are stupid, man. Yes, they are. But, you know, of course, you're supposed to feel bad for it. We, uh, we weren't paid enough. Like, look, you, at this point in time, when conservatives are actually winning on the issue of education because you're rooming with a G, mm -hmm. uh, you're not really going to get any sympathy, especially now. It's not going to happen. Well, you're not getting and not in a state like Arizona, where we all know it's a red state, but but uh, you Somehow know, it's honk honk, it becomes purple randomly every every two years. Yep. Yes, siree. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, that... Uh, I have a feeling, and... The next five years, uh, the I've been talking about the spinster bubble popping. Yeah, All right, that's going to start to give way, and then it's going to be the popping of the whore bubble. Yeah, because all these whores are like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Because mm -hmm. listen, the red pill and MGTOW information is spreading like wildfire across the world. Yes, it is. All right, and literally. Uh, they're looking for us or other red pill creators. They're going, holy shit, I'm not the only one noticing this. And then they're like, their eyes, I mean, their minds are like, oh, fuck that. Yep. Because when you, when you look at everything, literally, as a dude, you're being groomed to be a, a, a slave for your civilization. Yep. From the very beginning. So, and then these poor kids, they're going to grow up. It won't even take that long, because now, I mean, half the parents I know, th their their kids are being raised by screens they carry with them in their pockets. Yep. They're not looking at what their kids are watching. These kids uh, start approaching puberty. It's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. People are going to be sending these kids videos of their parents. I mean, we all got scarred for life the one time that we happened to like stumble in on it in the middle of the night. Mom, can I have a glass of water? <laughs> you know, <laughs> or, or you hear it and you're like, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, like my kingdom for a set of headphones, and then, <laughs> but this is going to be in their face. In close up, as we saw from the examples that we couldn't show to the chat. Pretty much. Pretty I, I, much. I need to uh, apologize to my parents for having to watch this tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, look. It could always be worse. <laughs> Listen, what we're seeing take place now is basically this is the first generation or, or the second generation that's been separated from God. Yep. Absolutely. Well, there's been some, but not to Now, I'm not going to sit there and yeah. tell you religion is the be-all, end-all of, of goodness, because obviously it's not. No. But if you are come up in a, in a family that practices any organized religion, minus worshiping Moloch or something, mm -hmm. you know, it does come along with a set of values yes. that you carry forward into your life. Long after you're like, you know, that God thing, I don't know. 
Oh, but yeah. you still have, mm-hmm. you know, the lessons and the morals. Yeah. But now th- th- these people are becoming free-range fornicators. Well, they don't even care. And, and they don't care. They just don't care at all. Everybody's just kind of thrown that, like, I don't need that. Yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of sad. It, I, is. it, it is. You, you watch this, and, and, and I can't believe the things I see. And I sent Blake some um, videos, and... I mean, to you, Blake, you tell me, did those girls look like they were of age? Uh, no. And I, and I just couldn't and, believe it. And, and they're pretending seeing. to get plowed. Yeah, they're like not. They're, they're you holding, don't see it's anything. like a POV. It's just flat out on my on uh, Instagram. You know, you're just going through Instagram, and they're doing it right there on Instagram. Yeah, they're like 12, 13. It's not even being censored or anything. I, and I was like, when I saw it, my jaw hit the ground. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And, you know, people can, you know, say what they want to about religion, what have you, but. When Rome fell, you know what survived? The Christian church. Yes. Um, it survived all the way through till this day. And some people may turn their back on it, what have you. <clears throat> but within that, you know, within that Christianity, within that spirituality, whatever you want to call it, within that religion is a sense of community that knows no race, color, or bubblegum flavor. Mm-hmm. You know, those people tend to help each other out. And when you, when you have a, a political party now that's uh, especially prevalent among the youth. Like, what was the youth vote for Democrats in Arizona? It was like 94% yeah, among yeah. college age voted Democrat. Their entire motto is divide and conquer. That's why they have all these labels, all these genders. Yep. Because and when you divide these... people into smaller groups, they can't coalesce. You can't create communities because everybody's trying to climb to the top of the fucking oppression Olympics and pyramid. Where are these people's parents, for God's sake? Uh, well, parent is oh, yeah, more, yeah. Likely yeah. The more than likely. Even parent. that, even if that's all you had, where is the parent? Well, I you mean, w- most women lose control of their children once they get about between 10 and 13 years old, Men, boy or girl. Yeah. Yeah. And literally, uh, that, that male presence isn't there to rein it in and say, hey, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, they're making bad decisions because their uh, thinking meat hasn't aged properly. Yep. And literally, if you if you leave them to their own devices, they're, they're hooked on fentanyl. Or So you have that dude like, I'll fuck you up. And then they're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that because he'll fuck me up. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.